bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. Welcome back to Good Day Colorado. 844 now. I'm Shaw Turner. Every Friday we do the Fox Box. Everyone has a strong opinion about something. Each week we invite interesting people to come on the show and lay it on the line about how they really feel about the stories making news on the Fox Box. So welcome our regular today, Uncle Nasty from KBPI 1067 FM, Rock in the Rockies, weekdays, 3 to 8 p.m. Lori Hoy joins us representing the Personhood Amendment 2010 campaign to declare that a person's rights begin at conception. And welcome back actor comedian John Panette on stage this weekend at the Comedy Works Landmark. Today, Simon Cowell gets ready to fight a lawsuit, but should you be able to sue someone for saying you have no talent? And insults toward women in political races, what's up with that? We'll also give the thumbs down award of the week. But first, the personhood amendment makes another showing after attempts in the past to declare that personal rights begin at conception. Now this has been called a backdoor way to make abortion illegal. What could be the impact though if this becomes law? First of all, we know last time around you received more than 65,000 signatures on a petition to actually get this on the ballot. Correct. And they received over 600,000 votes, yes, on the ballot as but well. But that's only 27 percent. But that's equal to what got the governor got. Well, so. well, that's a lot it's, of votes. It's, it's, but that's a lot, a lot of, of people are very passionate about the But, that's, but that's, you know, that's barely a, a third. Or a quarter, I mean. But it's still significant. That's the same amount of people that voted for the it's, governor. It's so you're worth putting to on that a time to put on the ballot again, yes. Yes, it is time to put it on the ballot again. Because well, we, I, oh, want, we want to define the p word person from womb to tomb because every life is precious. And there's no way any life should be lost in this, on this planet for any reason. Well, yeah, life begins somewhere from conception and 24 hours later after fertilization. So that's life, but what is a person? A person is defined, according to Webster, as a, uh, a body of, and personality of a human being. Okay. So isn't an embryo more like a welcome parasite? No. An embryo is point? not a parasite. An embryo is not a parasite. I mean, it can't take Do care you of ever itself. stop it can't being feed a person? Itself. Do you ever stop being a person? Did you just, as soon as well, you were born, you started you being a person? person? Do you want to define you are person, a person as biological at development? Biological development. You are a person. The person grows. See, you get I think that's opinion. It's not opinion. It's proven medical okay, science. No, I think the life begins. Everybody, the life fact begins, that there is a debate is it a over person? this scientifically, mm -hmm. though, brings into question if something like this were actually put into law. This is one example of the situation we'd be faced with. Nasty, on your show, we've talked about if you if you trip down the stairs and accidentally have a miscarriage, are you going to be charged with manslaughter? No. no. What, what yeah, kind no of one jump has, in, No one has ever been charged with manslaughter. In, in danger and, and no one has ever been charged with manslaughter, and there aren't any situations where a mother's life is at risk that cannot serve the child can't survive okay, and the mother as well does this over does this amendment essentially overturn Roe v. Wade can, is it that, the first step the, to the back door way to an, an, an uh, abortion door. it's not a back door <laughs> personhood is defining the term person it is not defined anywhere and it's already define, defined it's where is it defined the, in the, the Constitution? body and personality of Webster's a human being dictionary is not constitutional law Okay, and I, Jesus and God isn't constitutional law either. And what has that got to do with Because this is a backdoor way to interject religion into politics. It's not a backdoor but, way right, to interject well, as religion we, as into we're politics. As we're going to move on to topic two, though, I will say this. She is right. The 600,000 signatures, that's no joke. There are a lot of people who really believe in this, and we will continue to follow it right here on Good Day Colorado and, and, and I, as we I, see I, how much steam this does I do think it would, be, it would be wonderful if we could also tackle the issues in society where ab abortion is an option, like, right. you know, if we could... And we'll do it on another uh, box, you know, box sports, John, Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Stop it, too. No they interest. say Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did except backwards in high heels. Well, check out what Colorado Senate candidate Ken Buck said about his opponent, former Lieutenant Governor Jay Norton. Okay, I think we have what he said. Well, he said, uh, well, I don't wear high heels, basically making a dig on women. Okay, we do have it. Let's roll it. Yes. Why should you vote for me? Why should you vote for me? Because I do not wear high heels. All right. In this day and age, can a candidate get away with saying something like that? How hard should he be slammed for this? I not? think he had a clear, it's, what is it like? They get a certain age and they have like a, they become Joe Biden. <laughs> 
<laughs> like Joe Biden was a great, uh, you know, a great senator and had a lot, you know, really foreign affairs and and now he, you know, they have him with a lot of bloopers and I, I, I think this is ridiculous. What's the rest of the statement though? Well, what, yeah, you know, yeah, how the media always true. like that's to stop true. stuff. What was the context? Yeah. yeah, but you know, when you're a politician, you speak in sound bites for a reason. They all know it. They knew that you know, you know that certain snippets are going to be pulled and aired all day long and all night long on the news locally and nationally. I have used but this is an insult if he had said it about any other group as well do you think that what should happen should that make a person say i maybe i won't vote for that person over something like that i don't as know a woman. i don't know that that one statement should say you should or shouldn't vote for him you need to know more about his right. character may dictate than the just character that one sta that, just that one okay statement. let's keep yeah. it on character as we move to topic three a lawsuit for american idol mogul simon cowell Emma Amelia Pearl, a contestant on his other show, Britain's Got Talent. Her discrimination suit says the show took away her, quote, self-respect and dignity after she auditioned and got a bad review. And we have got to play oh, a sample of her singing. Here it is. When I am down, I know my soul so weary. <laughs> okay, now. Mm. She just she, ripped the dignity right out of herself and threw it on the ground okay. and stepped on it. No, what she is she talking Simon, about? She no. told Simon it's a beautiful song. He said, yeah, when you're not singing it, it's a beautiful song. Now, she says a medical condition prohibited her from performing at her best. She's in constant pain and can't sing in noisy environments. But she wants to, you know, have a chance like this to launch her big career. Does she have a right to sue for $4 million? Absolutely $4 million. not. No. Listen, no. If you, first of all, she should have researched Simon Cowell and know that he is very true. <laughs> Truthful, and he is he is not always kind no. I think he's mellowed over the years oh but he God. speaks the truth and if she had a medical con where is personal responsibility is it dead completely Absolutely. anymore no, it's in this not. case this is ridiculous right. does this woman have no relatives, relatives. <laughs> my someone relatives would have would have relatives would have locked me in the house somebody at church should have told her yeah, somebody should have told her really well and if you're in a contest you're gonna be judged. And I've only seen this uh, American Idol once, and I know Simon is mean. I would never put myself yes, in there. Yes, absolutely. You go on and yeah, watch this Scott on Talent, YouTube. They spar back and forth. She's yeah. yapping at the judges, and they're going back and forth. She wants $4 she, million dollars for her problem of perception. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should have added her. <laughs> and by the way, in England, you pay the damages. Oh, okay. my goodness. Well, maybe oh we should have added her to the game. thumbs down list. Let's get to the thumbs down okay. list of the week. Wow. Who gets the thumbs down this week? Lindsay Lohan. Starts a 90-day jail term for violating her probation. Superstar lawyer Robert Shapiro ditches her case. She's thrown away opportunities a lot of people out there only dream of. Or how about this candidate? Johnny Rockets, restaurant manager, told a woman she couldn't breastfeed in front of the other customers. She was asked to take her six-month-old into the bathroom or outside. Happened in Kentucky. Do they get the thumbs down? People are protesting. Or the family and friends of a woman who died in a home packed with so much stuff Cops had to cut oh, through the roof to get God. to her body. Happened in Chicago. Elderly oh woman God. was a hoarder. Police couldn't open the door because of the piles of debris. Oh Should God. someone have stepped in and moved her out of that situation? Or does she have the right to live any way she wants to live and die the same? Who gets the thumbs down this week? Wow. Nasty. Uh, I'm going with this frivolous lawsuit. I think okay. that's weak. And then Johnny Rock is spread. That's a close second. I mean, don't they watch the news? Aren't they over this yet? I mean, shouldn't okay. we be allowed to do that? All I right, think? John. Uh, I, I have a hard time giving Johnny Rockets a thumbs down. <laughs> uh, that's a food issue. Uh, and usually I'm not looking up to see breastfeeding or anything, really. I'm pretty focused at Johnny Rockets. Uh, okay. And I, I think this hoarding lady clearly had a disease. And, um, it, you know, it's it's okay. something that we're just learning. So, okay. All right. Lindsay Lori, Rohan, but I hope she so, gets better. Lori, pick one. What's your thumbs down? My thumbs Wrap down would be the law. Lawsuit. The lawsuit. Okay, yeah, a lot of thumbs down on that lawsuit. Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's Fox Box. Thanks so much, Uncle Nasty from KBPI 1067 FM. And Lori Hoy from the Personhood Amendment 2010 campaign. Also, actor comedian John Panette on stage at the Comedy Works landmark this week. And check him out and bring some Johnny Rockets. We are going to do the Fox Box again next Friday. We're going to take a quick break, and Mike and Melissa will be right back.